We're back with a politics fix with MSNBC political analyst Howard Feynman of Newsweek and Gene Cummings of the Politico. I want to start with Howard, then Gene jump in here. We don't have much time. You watched the, t the interview. It was amazing. Him. Oh, it was it was riveting. It's one of the great pieces of live political television I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because I'm sitting here. Because there you saw a live slice of politics the way it is sometimes unfortunately practiced. That was pay to play an operation and you know that Roland Burris is in trouble when his only defense is I'm a liar. I mean that basically is what he was saying okay, to he you. He said it again and again. He said I, I wasn't really going to try to help him out. I was placating him. In other words, I was lying. I never had an intention that, of following yeah, through. That, that was not much and I'll money. tell you what the Democratic leadership in the Senate on the Hill is furious that they're furious mm -hmm. at the whole Democratic machine in Chicago for putting this guy here. Gene, uh, Gene, I don't think the Democratic organization in Illinois can keep this guy in office for much longer because they're going to end up paying for this. And they can't let somebody else come in. I think they got to go find a minority to replace him. That's my hunch politically. What's yours? Well, I think that makes sense. And I, whoever comes in is going to be a placeholder because that Democratic primary is already filling up with plenty of candidates with real experience who want that seat. Okay, let me ask you about what you heard. Uh, the interview, was, what I was struck by and kept going back to, was where he said, if I don't get the job and I've raised all this money, then my people are going to be mad at me. That is a direct confession of play to pay. Well, I'm raising the money. Yes. I want it, the it, job. If I don't but it's get not it, just, But it's absolutely. not just pay to play. Yeah, it's not just pay to play between uh, the governor and the would-be senator. It's, it's pay to play between the new senator and the contributors. Right, in other words, it they're says a lot about how this, they think the Senate works. They're buying right. into this new right. senator. If they don't get what they paid for, they're going to be mad at him. What do you think, Gene? It's well, an amazing admission. I think admission. what's also so striking is this very idea that he thinks, oh, in the end, we didn't give him any money, so it doesn't count, as Howard said, basically saying he's lying. And totally missing the point that the connection between the promise and the appointment is truly what we see quid pro quos look like when they go into court. Mm -hmm. And the whole conversation was about what I'm going to do for you and what you're going to do for me. Any juror that watches this who's a regular person is going to say, I smell money. We'll be right back with Howard Feynman and Gene Cummings. <laughs> I have no doubt Sonia Sotomayor is going to be confirmed. None. Zip zero. Nada. Nobody should be attacked because they're female or because they're Hispanic. My opposition to Sonia Sotomayor is based on the fact she's not a good judge. She's an angry woman. She's got a. She's got. A, she's a bigot. She's a racist. She's an angry, bigoted, racist boy. It's amazing what Ru Rush Limbaugh will come up with these days. Gene Cummings. Is that, this the pod calling the kettle black, or what the hell's going on here? I'm well, all I know is this, it's the worst nightmare for the Republicans. I mean, they're trying to calculate whether they should vote against her, how aggressively they should try to sort through her record and challenge her during hearings. And with things like that, and all that calculation to try to keep Hispanic support, even the, as small as it's gotten for Republicans, Rush Limbaugh can chase them all away in an afternoon with that kind of talk. Yeah, I think I think he wants this fight, Howard. I'll stick to my guns. I think he wants to fight with the guy he's fighting with, as he always wants Barack to Obama fight. Does. The group you call RNC. Yeah. Let's go through their names. Rush, Rush Limbaugh, Newt, Newt Gingrich, Gingrich, and, and Dick, Dick Cheney. Cheney. Yeah. He loves to fight with that three. Well, and they're obliging. Uh, Newt Gingrich just put out a Twitter message saying... Oh, he's state of the art. He is state of the art, saying that uh, Sotomayor should step down because she is a, quote, Latina racist or words to that effect. But uh, talking to one of the conservative Republican strategists, they're happy with this. The, le the right wingers happy because they're going to be able to talk about the Second Amendment. There's a gun ruling that that uh, Sotomayor had that they don't like, and they can get support in their base from. There's the affirmative action thing in New Haven. In other words, they're speaking to and only want to excite the this frankly is, the white male base of the Republican Party. In. Gene, this yeah. is where we came in. This seems to be the name of this year's politics: the battle between the governing Democratic Party and the out. Riders, the outliers on the right. That's the fight that goes on. And John Boehner and Mitch McConnell aren't even in the shouting match. No, they're squeezed right in the middle. It's just the worst possible position okay. for them. Yesterday, there. Thank you. Got to go. I'm sorry. Okay. Gene Cummings, little time tonight. Thank you, Howard Feynman. Right now, it's time for the Ed Show with Ed Schultz.